Good. What's up, guys? It's March, which means we got to dive in into another pack. But before we do that, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. So I've been a little bit more active on the gram. There's been a lot of engagement from you guys, which I really appreciate. I've been asking some questions. You guys have been actually asking some great questions, and it's been a lot of fun answering them. So I uh, love all that. Uh, one of the favorite, one of the one of my favorite questions this past week was what has you most excited about UHC this year? And honestly, I hate to admit it, but it's this. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't want to do these videos. They were kind of weird. They felt awkward, but it's getting better. It doesn't feel as awkward. It's kind of fun now. And uh, you guys seem to like it. So it's valuable to you guys. And that's what's most important. So I've allocated more time, more resources. I painted my garage. I'm turning it into sort of like a YouTube studio. So I'm waiting on some shelves, some background lighting, some plants, some, you know, artwork, some new video lights, uh, a lot of great stuff coming. Um, my goal is to try to make it more of a permanent thing, something that is consistent. I'm a perfectionist, so I like quality to be top notch. And um, you can imagine the first couple of videos were really hard for me just because they were kind of on the fly. And so now that it's coming down to a system. I'm much more excited. Uh, what you can expect from this is obviously the March dive-ins, uh, or not the March, but the monthly dive-ins. And what I wanna also do is some sort of like unicorn segment where we talk a little bit more about the unicorns, the story about each one of them. Maybe it's like, maybe it'll be like a review slash information on the unicorns. I will smoke some of them. Some of them I'll probably just keep in my humidor. I don't know, we'll see. But what I want to do is shine more light into that program so you guys actually see the value of these unicorns. You guys don't just think it's a random cigar that you're getting. Um, some of these cigars are out of production, no longer being made. Some of them are really old from 2006. And, you know, there's value in that, in knowing that. That way, when you do pull it out of the pink foil, you go, oh, wow, I have something really special rather than just going, huh, I, what's the story on this Avo or... What's the story on this Griffin? You know, unless it's a hype brand or something that is very well known, like you're not going to know what's up. And that's kind of going to be my focus on that program, just shining more light on it and doing it in a way where you guys enjoy consuming that basically, you know, education. So without further ado, without further ado, guys, let's jump into this month's pack and see what we got. That. All right, guys, so let's recap last month just a tiny bit. So it was a little bit of a flavor bomb. A lot of the cigars in there had a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, which made them very rich, very bold, more on the full side of strength. And this month, I wanted to sort of contrast that, kind of bring you down to a light version of everything that you had last, last month uh, in a way that is tapered, if that makes any sense. So we still have some cigars that are very full and then we go from full to medium plus to medium to, you know, medium and then light. So kind of bringing it down in terms of strength. And the main reason for doing that is because you got to remember, I'm trying to help you expand your palate. And that's one of the best ways to do it. Go from one extreme to the other. And but we're doing it not so hot, cold, but hot, warm, yeah. cold, that kind of style. So up first, we have the Tatuaje, the 10th anniversary, the Capa Especial. The Capa, the actual 10th anniversary has an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper in it, but the Capa Especial has an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. So once again, on the full side of things, it's got vintage fillers from Nicaragua. This is a Perfecto. 120,000 of the Capa Especials were released and 60,000 of them were in a Perfecto, 60,000 of them were in a Toro. Everybody got the Perfecto and all the Toros will be on our site for sale as five packs. So keep an eye out for them. Up next, we have the Segovia Distelli. This is the Maduro. Now this brand went to a total rebrand uh, in 2020. Back in 2019, there was a little bit of some IP issues uh, between this brand and another brand and Art Garcia kind of changed directions of, of everything. And it used to be called Antigua Desteli. 
Now it's called Segovia Sicily. While they were going through all of that, obviously cigars needed to be rebanded. And uh, they just be sitting there aging. So this cigar is 2.7 years old. It has a Mexican San Andres wrapper. And it's got Nicaraguan binders and fillers. Beautiful cigar. This smells like tahini. Every time I smell it, I want a margarita. But it's too early in the morning to do that. Up next, we haven't had this brand in a long time. But I'm excited to bring it back because when we did have it, this specific blend you guys loved it we had it in the rothschild i believe or the robusto one of the two i don't remember it's been a long time but i'm talking about the aladino vintage selection great cigar great construction all enduring enduring habano wrapper enduring binders and fillers this is the lancero we are doing our part in saving the lanceros in every way possible even though instagram likes shadow ban our hashtag we're still out here we're still trying Great cigar, guys. Everything from Aladino I've been a fan of recently. So much so that we have included a second Aladino. And this is the first time we actually include a brand twice. Obviously, two different blends, but same pack two times. And I did the Candela. The Aladino Candela, I did it because in a way it's very special. The Candela's are very unique and i think that we might start like a save the candelas movement let's see if instagram blocks that but essentially the candelas were made in the 40s because there was people that wanted lighter cigars and so this kind of came by accident obviously if you know a little bit about cigars you know that the wrappers they let them air dry and this was basically dried up with extreme heat so The best way to illustrate the candela is think about it as a sauna. Instead of just hanging up the leaves like they typically do and just wait for the humidity to, you know, dissipate and now you have dried cigar leaves ready for wrapping or for that next step, I mean. Um, You put them in a little hut, you put some coal in there, you raise up the temperature, you open up a little window at the bottom, all the humidity escapes, Obviously, you know, the heat rises and that's why you get this like weird yellow greenish color. And I love, I love the Candelas. They're on the lighter side of things, but they're just so unique. Uh, A lot of people say that they get like some lemongrass flavors out of it. Obviously it's all subjective and I'm excited for you guys to try it. We included the Illusion HL Candela in the Lancero. I think it was like November-ish around there. And it was received from you guys very, 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 very great. Uh, we went through a lot of five packs of those, actually. Uh, like, right off the bat, I remember one of you guys was like, oh, my God, do you have any more? I'm like, I literally have one. And then I was, that was it. Um, so I'm excited to bring the Candelas back. Uh, this was made from the Edoa family. And only 8,000 of these were made. And it was in commemoration of their grandfather, who was the biggest um, candela supplier in the 80s and the 90s so you know (laughs) that has to mean something up next actually last but not least we have the padilla italia in the salomon we included this way back in the lancero once again you guys loved it it was a great cigar for you guys and i brought it back in my second favorite format the salomon now this is the type of cigar that you either save for a special location or this is the type of cigar that you tell your wife i'm going out with the boys and i'm only gonna have one cigar boom this will give you like two and a half three hours so life hack not that you want to get away from your wife or anything but uh obviously this cigar was made for the italian market their palette is a lot lighter than ours. You can expect this to be on the sort of like light plus, <laughs> barely getting into medium side of things. It has a Habano Cuban seed wrapper and it's got um, binders and fillers from the Ometepe region in Nicaragua. It's a very volcanic rich soil region. So lots of great flavors in the cigar, guys. If I were to assign an order to smoke them, you don't have to listen, but This is what I would smoke them, or how I will smoke them. I will go Tatuaje, the Capa Especial first, because that's the strongest and boldest. Then I would go with the Segovia Destelli. 
That's a close second right there. Then I would go Aladino Vintage Rothschild. Then I would probably buy a five pack of these because they're amazing and you're just gonna wanna keep smoking this. But if you don't, and if you're not gonna save this for a special occasion, I would go Padilla in the Salomon. And last but not least, I would probably go with the Aladino Candela. And once again, guys, this is the lightest cigar. This is something that you smoke in the morning with some coffee, with some tea, and it's gonna be amazing. Um, I'm very excited for you guys to try this. So that's it for this month, guys. I'm excited for more videos, more content, and uh, I'm excited to hear what you guys think about this. Comment what you're most excited about in this pack. Um, comment what you'd like to see in other packs. Obviously, as you know, we're very feedback driven. So yeah, just comments and uh, stay smoky. Cheers.